four degree cold start. Eh, maybe 50. Let's see how it sounds. And hopefully, I don't run over my phone. All right, where were we? Satin steel metallic is looking good. So what do you guys think about the flags? Cheesy? What do you think about the license plate? Good? Or not good. What up, dudes? And uh, dudettes. Well, it's kind of sunny. Birds are chirping. And the wind isn't blowing. So, I figured I'd do a video. One of the things I thought about recently, I've been kind of looking at some other vehicles like uh, maybe ZR2 or um, quite possibly a three-quarter ton. Came to mind that uh, the best time to buy another vehicle is when you don't need one. So this 2019 Chevy Silverado RST has got uh, 7,700 miles, I believe. And right behind us, we've got the 2020 Honda Passport Elite. And it's got like 10.8, 10,800 miles, something like that. So why in the world would I want to buy another vehicle? And it turns out this is the perfect time for me to buy a new vehicle when I don't need one. So what do I mean by that? So... A little bit of a backstory. The Chevy Cruze I've had for four, probably four years now. And I rolled in the Honda Civic to trade in on the Cruze. And the Honda Civic was overheating and the console was falling apart and all sorts of stuff. And I pretty much had to take what they, what they were given at the dealership. I couldn't bargain a lot because the Civic wasn't going to make it a whole lot longer. So I think I ended up paying like fifteen grand for this. It had like, I don't know, maybe 30,000 miles on it or something. But I knew it was a lot of money, but I didn't really have a choice. Which brings me back to these 
when I do have a choice now. So it took me about a year to find this satin steel metallic RST. I was kind of flirting between white and uh, this color satin steel metallic and maybe even a blue, but um, I definitely knew that I liked this. Gideon interior is called Gideon dark atmosphere. It's kind of a gray and a brown. So I knew I had to have that. Um, which limited my choices already. It took me about a year to find the price that I was willing to pay for this. So, if you roll up to the dealership and you really, really, really need a vehicle, you don't have much wiggle room to bargain. But, if you roll up and you got this and that and that, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Like, if they are too high on the price you can walk away i've watched a couple of videos where they talk about walking away at any moment and uh you really want to be able to do that you want to be able to walk away um if they're not giving you a good deal one thing i wish i would have got is the gray interior on this they they make it with a gray but this one was too hard to beat. It was close, good price, sold. Now it just needs some black license plates like this. What do you think I should put on the personalized? I think I might put ZR port. I definitely don't want to put PP anything on there. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. So, yeah, that's about it. Nothing too exciting to talk about today besides uh, if you're ready for a new vehicle, make sure you give yourself time or you're not obligated to drive something else away like I was with that. So when I bought the RST and the Elite both... I had uh, no obligations and I could walk away at any time. I also have another video if you want to check that out. I talk about uh, um, how to get the best deal. Basically, just have the deal basically set up before you get there. Um, personally, I'm not going to a dealership without having all the prices worked out and that stuff. I don't need to sit in their little cubicle while they devise a plan how to screw me over. Um, I've definitely got a video or two on that. Anyways, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Peace.